believe this all knows why I gathered you here today. I know, I know. The kid, right, boss? Yeah, Squeaks. The kid. Uh, excuse me, boss. Do you mean, like, a baby goat? No, Ox. Not a baby goat. The baby that has been interrupting our lives. Oh, that one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, the one that interrupted my life when I had to haul his maw from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Hope, with all due respect, sir, I think the story started well before that. Explain yourself, Lieutenant. Sir, Emperor Augustus gave us the order to spread the word that every man and their family were to return to their hometown and be counted for. So there we were in Nazareth, spreading the word of the Emperor's decree, and all of a sudden... Excuse me, boss. The story starts even before that. What do you mean, Squeaks? Yeah, what do you mean? Quiet, you two. All right, Squeaks. Tell us, where does the kid's story start? In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. No, Ox. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Ooh, what? what? Jesus, our brother strong and good, was humbly born in a stable room, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother strong and good.
Mary, the sweetest 14-year-old girl you ever met was visited in a dream by an angel. An angel? An angel? With wings and a halo? Yes, an angel with wings and a halo. Ooh. Anyway, the angel told Mary not to be afraid, for she was going to have a baby, even though she was not married. This is going to be a special baby. What do you mean by special baby? It was going to be God's baby. Ooh. The next day, Mary went and visited her cousin Elizabeth, who was pregnant too. Wait, there's another baby? Yeah, but that's another story altogether. Sorry I'm late. We've been wandering on the desert forever, and we just finished visiting this nice family. Yo, Alice the Camel, looking good. Hey, didn't you have two humps last time I saw you? Thanks for noticing, Ox. I had some work done. I kept the one hump so I wouldn't be mistaken for a horse. No offense, Longface. None taken. So what did I miss? Squeak just finished telling us about the kid's ma. Oh yes, Mary, lovely lady. She and her husband Joseph were the family we were just visiting. He isn't exactly the kid's father, but he will be the kid's dad. We're just getting to that part. Well, get on with it then. When Mary came back, Joseph told her about his crazy dream. An angel came to visit him. An angel? An angel? With wings and a halo? Yeah. How should I know? It was his dream. Get on with telling us what happened in this dream. Yes, boss. The angel told him that Mary was going to have a baby, but not to be scared, and that he would raise the child as his own. So, you will adopt him? What a swell fellow! Then Joseph started talking about a trip to Bethlehem. Bethlehem! This is my story. Good Christian men rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Christ is born today, ox and ass before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today, Christ is born today. Good Christian men rejoice. Christ was born for this He hath opened the heavenly door And man is blessed evermore Christ was born for this Christ was born for this Good Christian men rejoice Christ was born to save, calls you one and calls you all to gain his everlasting home. Christ was born to save, Christ was born. What's your story, Longface? Oh, our orders came directly from the Emperor himself. It was time for a census. 
What's a census? A sen a census? How many senses? Yes and no. Caesar wanted everybody counted so he'd know how much money was coming in for the taxes. Oh, like the shepherds count us. Or to make so we don't get lost. Or eaten. May I continue? So our orders were to travel to each town and tell all the men and their families that they had to return to the town of their births and be counted. So Joseph took Mary and planned their trip to Bethlehem. That's enough, Squeaks. I was on that trip. I will tell this part of the story. We walked so far. As I was saying, there I was, minding my own business, enjoying a little grain snack after a long hard day at the mill. When this carpenter comes in to contract my services to carry his large round female to Bethlehem. You mean Joseph asked you to carry Mary to Bethlehem? She's nice. Also, she's pregnant, not large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph packed up their supplies and tied them to my back. Then, we, then she sat on me and we traveled down the road for a week. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap? is sleeping whom angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping this this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing We finally got to Bethlehem, but there was nowhere for us to stay. We tried everywhere. People kept apologizing, but there was still no room. We had lots of room. Yeah, yeah, we finally found your stable and managed to get some rest. Well, we're sure glad you found us. Mary looked so tired. Yeah, she was the one that walked 130 kilometers. Well, I knew you were tired too, which is why I didn't complain when you ate all my food. Well. Not all of it. Mary did need somewhere soft to lay the kid. 
Ew. Didn't she lick her kid clean? Of course not. She wrapped the kid in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Then what happened? Yeah, then what? You show Then you showed up. Because the angels came? Yeah, the angels came. They say so no. Start at the beginning. What were you doing before they came to you? We were all gathered in the field. We had a close to stay warm. I was about to close my eyes. The sky was filled with light. It was so bright, like morning. Everybody was scared, but the angel said, do not be afraid. They told us a baby was going to get born. We shall go see it. Yeah, go see him. Yeah, that's when you showed up. And we met all of you. We were surprised the kid wasn't a girl. Alice, wake up. Where were you? Mm, my herd and I. We were grazing by the oasis when suddenly there was a flurry of activity. The Magi were really excited. They had seen something in the sky. They started packing up. They wanted to follow it. We walked for over a month. We kept following the light in the sky. Did you stop anywhere? 
Yeah, you should have had stopped. We did stop. The Magi wanted to talk to King Herod. He seemed really interested in what we were doing. He wanted to worship the kid too. Why would Herod want to worship a baby? It's not like a kid is a kin or anything. According to the Magi, the star we were following foretold the birth of the Messiah, the promised deliverer of the Jewish nation, a king. So they believe that the kid and the Messiah are the same person? That's what they kept saying. So you visited Herod. What next? We continued to follow the star, and it led us to the stable, which led us to all of you. And Mary, and Joseph, and baby Jesus. Yes, well, I should be off. We are going to be taking the scenic route back. But at least the load should be lighter. Why lighter? Are you leaving anything behind? The Magi brought some gifts for the kid. Um, some gold, some frankincense, and some myrrh. I saw the presents. Why the scenic route? Okay. An angel warned the Magi to go home another way. So, um, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> well, we best all be heading out. Hopefully, this kid is done interrupting our lives. Okay. Or maybe this is just the beginning. Or one way or another, I'm starving. I hope that there's no longer a babe in my manger. to 